Nah, that shit was Just fire. There we go. That shit fire. It's kind of cool to have my seat pivoted this way again. It's yeah, been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Looking both ways and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that Belvini is so smooth. Yeah. No bad. I was going to say something. I forgot that fast. They got the name on the front and the back. Fuck that. <laughs> like, we're going to make sure we get, our, we get our just due. You know what's crazy? Was it? It's either last week's episode or the episode before. We got a copyright strike. And it tells you what part of it. What part yeah, of I've it. seen that. And the copyright strike is the intro music that I created. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so I, I appealed to it. And I'm like, um, it's a royalty-free sample from Somatics. Mm-hmm. And I made the beat. And I didn't want to go. I was. I started to say, and it's been in fifty eight other episodes. I'm like, eh, let me not say. They're gonna take go all that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> but it says the owner has allowed it to be played, so it didn't deter any plays. But I was like, that's weird that this because YouTube's whatever AI they use to find copyrighted shit mm-hmm. is quick. Mm. It is quick. Like as you're uploading the video, it discovers it. Yeah, shit. And that shit. That shit. Just try to say that shit copyrighted though. That's I do this up. thing sometimes when I make a beat. I'll use. Uh, Acapellas. Uh-huh. It's kind of cool to see how other people like to to make a beat to acapella because you see how the person rapped to it and you just structured around it. Oh, that's dope. And it was kind of like an H to the Izzo remix. I'm like, that's dope. I'm gonna put it out. So I uploaded it to SoundCloud. It lived on SoundCloud forever. Soon as I tried to upload it to YouTube, it was like, nope. Mm. And then six months later, SoundCloud got me with a copyright strike and I had to take it down. Yeah, that damn. Yeah. And we playing no games. Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. It said if it even remotely sounds like it, motherfucker. Copyright. Yeah. Like, mm-mm. That's why sometimes I'll be wanting to play music here. Like that Super Bowl song by Conway I was just playing. Yeah. And I was like. Nah, yeah. You're allowed fair use. They fuck use. around, cut our whole shit silent, the whole episode. We <laughs> you're allowed fair use if you review it or if you're doing a cover of it, you're allowed it, but whatever. Yeah. You want to just kick this shit off? My fault. This, this shit good. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Let's get it motherfucking pop. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am what I am, and I'm going to be the very best of what I am. And for those who don't like me confidentially, I don't give a damn. I'd like to thank you for letting me be myself. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the crib. It is episode 61. Ah, I, updated, I remember. I updated the cheat sheet. I ain't gonna even say I remember. remember. I still can't see you. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you gotta get you a mirror over there so you can look at the um, Episode 61. We're back in effect. Just me and my guy. Big facts. Uh, the crib seems empty today. It's been a long it's time we've been by ourselves. It's a little quiet, ain't yeah. it? <laughs> but uh, I'm Ramon. And I am Darian. And you're in here. Welcome back, Village. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I will start with what I'm grateful for. I was about to ask you, my nigga. That's uh, funny. <laughs> I am grateful for the next generation, particularly of my family. Let me be specific. Right? When you look at the work that me and my son's mother and um, my sister and her daughter's fathers, and they are just seven of the greatest human beings ever. I got to spend some time with my younger nieces earlier this week. And it's, it's, I hadn't seen them in a while. And I'm like, you're whole grown women. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, That's facts. But they are just phenomenal, smart, really pretty. I had to, I told all of them I was going to uh, extend my, my Delaware gun license to New Jersey mm-hmm. because I just, you know, I'm a protector. I think that's why God did give me daughters. I might have been overprotective as a, yeah. as a father to daughters. But um, And my sons, just all great young men, stayed out of trouble, all doing great things. And it's just cool to sit back and watch the next generation of our that's family. That's fire and shit. Yeah. That's that's a good ass feeling, yo, to be able to see the, see the next generation come up and know that the like the family gonna be okay, like yeah. everybody gonna be okay. Like that's that's a good ass feeling. Yeah. Facts. I am grateful for another fucking year of life. That's right. Uh, yeah, my guy celebrated yep. his fucking birthday. Thirty now. I didn't have so many trials, tribulations, issues, ups, downs, like. I'm just so grateful for still being alive and still being able to continue to try to make my mark on this world. 
is coming. Did you guys do your do your uh, big birthday bash? Nah, I ended up uh, just going. Me, my wife, and my in laws went to uh, fucking OC again, and it ended up raining. Most of the oh, time, shit. but we still had a fucking ball. Well, that's what I mean. That's your thing. You guys oh, yeah. get away and you guys just... Celebrate. Yeah, every time. Every year, pretty much. But yeah, I was... It was fun. It was fun. No, your pictures look like you guys had a good time. Nah, yeah. That shit was a fucking blast. Like, yeah. you couldn't tell that the rain could have affected anything. Like I didn't even realize it, was, it. I mean, I knew it rained because I live in the area. Yeah. But in the pictures, you did, you couldn't tell couldn't it tell, that it yeah. rained. Yeah, no. So. We, was, we was having a blast. So by your 40th, you'll forget that it rained on your 30th. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember <laughs> that shit didn't even bother me though. Like it was just felt good to spend some quality time with my wife. No kids, like love my kids to death, but yeah, as a relationship, great. you need to, that time with just yourself every once in a while. Do you feel different now that you're in the next decade? Yeah, yeah, I do feel different. Like I feel like I feel almost kind of like I'm on go. Like, it's a lot of shit that I've been saying I want to accomplish. Like, now's the time to do it. So, like, I really... it's a And it's a positive-ass feeling. Like, I don't have no doubts in my head to what I can accomplish. Like, I, I just... I'm literally at the point where I'm just figuring out my first steps and everything I want to do. And I'm going to start taking off with that shit because... Ain't got no more time to waste, man. Nah, nah, 20s is over. <laughs> not every day is promised, but... <laughs> Them goddamn 20s is over. I made it through the 20s. Nigga, mm, get your shit together. Um, I'm reading this book called The One Thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually pretty fucking dope. And it, the, to sum it up, it talks about how, you know, in life we've become... It looks good to be busy or it looks good to be, you know, have a large to-do list. Like, my to-do list is bigger than yours. And the most successful people really just focus on one thing mm -hmm. and deciding what that one thing is and then spending time doing that and even blocking time. So I've been using the technology in my phone when I'm working mm -hmm. is that it blocks and only certain people can call through. Yeah. And that changes depending on what's going on. Like right now I need my sister to be able to, you know, get me if she needs me right away. But it's been so relaxing because I get no notifications. I even turned off... You know, if you call twice, it'll ring through. I turn that off. Mm -hmm. And really taking that time without the distraction and focusing and deciding what that one thing is. And one of the questions he says, you know, that you have to have answers to questions. And the most important question is, what's the one thing that I can do today in five years, in a month, whatever the time frame is, that by doing such will make life easier and other things unnecessary? Mm -hmm. And honestly, since I've been thinking about that, it's really changed my direction and shit. Mm, that's I won't true. lend it to you. Yeah. But if you read it, I'll buy you a copy. <laughs> that's my new shit, too. I'm not lending people books anymore. If I really want somebody to read it, I'd rather get just them buy copy. it. Yeah. <laughs> and that way I don't have to worry about not getting the shit back. Yeah, you know you you know you don't have to worry about this I book I want to look at my back. shelf and be like, okay, it's right there. Or yeah. if I'm currently reading it, we know where it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah on the shitter, mama. <laughs> I want to... You you going to fuck around have a bookshelf in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because when I want to read outside of there, I'm like, Fuck literature. It's shit literature, motherfucker. That's <laughs> um, question. I've been meaning to ask you this for weeks and I keep forgetting. And it's not that big of a thing. But you ever notice how like older women have a certain scent and they seem to be like similar scents? They all get the same perfume. Yeah, it's like, like once you get so old, you just you just and pick. <laughs> that's what I started wondering because I don't particularly. I have old dudes too. Yeah, but old dudes, this should be too goddamn strong. The like old that spice shit, yeah. Mixed with the that should be burning my nose, bro. <laughs> like you did enough. And before I get into it, I was gonna say public service announcement: tone it down during allergy season because if a mm. person got allergies, you are gonna fuck them up. Yes. Mm. I mean, it's people so bad when you count the this, the money later. It, it, the money still smells like whatever perfume they had on. You're wearing too much if that's the case. Yeah. But so I was thinking about these older women at work in the sense that they wear, and they're not my favorites, but it seems to be like characteristic of them. So then it got me to thinking, at one point, will like Victoria's Secret pear and apple. Now, I always associate the pear and the apple scents with strippers because that was around a time when they came out, when Victoria's Secret came out with that, mm. is I spend a decent amount of time yeah, sure, in these establishments, and, and that's they all the smell scent. like paradise. <laughs> so when, when, yeah, I'm just thinking that's funny as shit. Like you just walking down the street, you smell the bitch and smell like pear apple. 
I know where you work at. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was another popular one, Love Spell. So, like, when these women are 60 and 70, are younger people going to look at them and be like, oh, why do they always have to wear that perfume? Mm-hmm. Or do you transition to what we currently know the old? Because the, the 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 smell that the old people wear, and I don't mean it offensively, but yeah, I, I remember being kids and remembering that smell, and I said, "That's an older an older woman walk through here because that's their scent." Mm-hmm. So I was wondering, do you think it changes, or will it just be always the at same one scent? point? It just turns into mothballs, and then we just got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's like nah, I'm just. What kind of like names like nah, yeah. Rose and um. Stephanie and Grace, like those were older names that actually are coming back. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a friend and like her daughter's one daughter's name is Abigail and the other one's name is some that was like older names that people use mm-hmm. like in the fifties and yeah, like, bring some of the old back. names back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because some of these new names is wow, mm-hmm. and some people just name their kids shit that they could never afford. <laughs> Would you ever name your kids something like, like that? No, I'm not. My kids, you already know my kids' name, Ariane and Jeremiah. Their middle names are countries in Africa, Egypt and uh, Zaire. Like something meaningful. <laughs> yeah, I. I'm the only nigga in my family without a goddamn African country in their name. <laughs> I got add one. Well, fuck it. <laughs> I feel left out. <laughs> pick a country. I am going to pick You'll a country. That and it's fucked up. Even when we change. get dogs, I'm gonna name. Countries in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. I already know my dog name when I finally get one. Um, fuck. I fucked you up with that. My fault. I went left. Nah, I started, you good. I started halfway rambling. Oh, like, do you think you give a kid a complex? Like, I met somebody Said one a complex? time when they, like, the kid's name was Lord. Lord. Like, his first name was Lord. Yeah. Like, do you think... People gonna fuck with that kid. Do you think you have undue expectations to live up to a certain standard? Yeah, <laughs> like you, like and king and shit like that. Like that's 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 a lot to live up to. Like, what if your kid end up? I'm, I'm not saying your kid gonna go through this, but I'm saying, what if your kid kid end up like a junkie or some shit? Like, <laughs> king what? Like, like no disrespect, but like yeah. that shit. That's a lot to live up to. Did you do you know the meaning of your name? My name? No, yeah. I never looked it up. You should look it up. It's fascinating because you know what it means, me, nigga. <laughs> it's like nah, <laughs> it's like, it's like nah. <laughs> Mine means wise leader. Oh shit! How appropriate. Wise leader. I'm actually always fascinated by people's names, and then I want to see if the meaning matches who they are. Mm. Like, do you think that there's really that like power in how you, you think, think Google know? Maybe we're not asking her anymore. Is it? <laughs> I didn't realize we had engaged that AI so much last episode. Yeah, that motherfucker <laughs> kept talking, and then you get the answer you need. That motherfucker just wanted to keep Still talking. talking. <laughs> like, like, Reminds me of a coworker. Oops. It's, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I caught on late as fuck. <laughs> I still can't believe y'all. I did not realize Rhapsody was 40 years old. Yeah, he's saying she was my age. 10 years is different. Yeah, where'd you get those pants from? Because I keep seeing an ad for pants very similar to that. Ha! I got these Instagram. bitches from City Trends, motherfucker. <laughs> so they weren't, they weren't $99, right? Fuck no. Because I saw the pants, I'm like, damn, I want a pair of those. And I Bro. clicked the link. I'm Did like, you remember who you just asked I, that question to? $99 for some pants. <laughs> nigga. You just upset me, nigga. <laughs> you just upset me. It'll be funny when we get rich and shit and you still going in the city turns with your black card. <laughs> My name means rich, kindly. Darian is a gender neutral name with British origins, meaning rich and kindly. Darian is a name with presence and can teach a lesson of compassion. Ooh, fuck y'all See what I'm about. saying? <laughs> Not knowing what the name means, but that 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 last part definitely uh, fits you. Yeah. Oh, shit. My name means something. Rich Kylie. Where's the rich? It's, like that. <laughs> it's on the way. It's, coming. <laughs> it's on the way. But y'all, y'all got to keep sharing us with y'all peoples. Yeah. Warm the crib on everything. Um, Hey, go get that merch. Yeah, WTCmerch.com. WTC um. Darius, uh, Darius shirts coming soon. Oh yeah, yeah, they coming soon. It, 
I ain't gonna get all technical with y'all. Some yeah. shit with the. I gotta adjust it and shit. Yeah. It, it's a lot. <laughs> plus, plus, he just celebrated his birthday, so facts. Get him in yeah, fucking break. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was drinking every day. Fuck you, yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was off all week. Mm-mm, I was drinking every day. Oh, how'd you enjoy your alone time too? It was. It wasn't really alone time. I had my princess with me the whole time. Oh, okay. We our bond got stronger. She be following me around the house and shit now. Like, yeah, it's my baby. But yeah, it was fun and shit. But she ain't really bother me. She just either watched TV or played her game. When she okay. was hungry, she was like, hey, dad, I'm hungry. Or I would already give her something to eat. And she she likes to pick over time. She where, do you, where do you think she got it from? Nah. I used to sit my ass down to eat. It took me a long time, but I used to sit my ass down to eat. <laughs> Every time I would go to lunch, they'd be like, yo, you want something? You'd be like, yeah, get me this. It would take you the rest of your shift, about five hours, to eat that fucking... <laughs> That's burger. different though. I'm working. What's she doing? She ain't working. She might well. be doing some shit. You know what she doing? <laughs> she probably building some shit in my living room. I don't even Five know. Five hours. <laughs> there was one time you were back there the whole time. You wasn't doing shit else. Oh yeah, nah. I forget what that was. I was. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I was bullshit. Like, he really wasn't hungry. <laughs> I'm looking over at you like mm, that was good. <laughs> He's still unwrapping this shit carefully. <laughs> I learned to conserve all my life, motherfucker. <laughs> that, that burger gonna last me 12 I to, hours. I was about to call husband diapers on your, your wife not feeding you at home. <laughs> like, you savoring this burger. Nah, her ass be feeding me. That's where most of my weight come from. She makes sure I eat. But oh, she don't shit. eat as much. Ain't that some shit? I know whatever. Anytime I cook, I'm not hungry afterward. I used to think my nah, mom was yeah. crazy when she would say that. Nah, I, same shit with me yesterday when I cooked. I wasn't really hungry afterwards. That shit. I don't know what it is. But I guess it's partly if you really try and cook and make it good, you testing shit as you go. Yeah, but even still, sometimes I'm just the process of cooking makes me not hungry. Yeah. You you done ate through your nose, basically, Possibly. motherfucker. Been smelling food the whole time. That's that's what that shit is. Excuse me. So Random belch. I'm not a gamer, right? Mm-hmm. And I played the You should be. It's like, nah. <laughs> Star Wars, whatever the previous one was. I don't know. So I was so hyped that, and it's my kind of game, third person. You run around, you can explore shit, fight shit. And so I was so excited when I beat the last one that I pre ordered the new one. No oh, shit. It came out the 28th, which was a Friday. And today, at the time of recording, it is May 6th. And I completed it this morning. God damn. <laughs> you completed the whole story. God damn. I'm like, how, Sway? And I didn't play yeah. it on easy. Yeah. I that story, that story I was about to say, one, that story probably isn't that challenging. And two, that story probably wasn't that long. Because, like, certain shit, like, yo, I don't know if it's on Xbox. It should be on Xbox. Mass Effect. Mm. You, If you in the space and planets and third person and Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Trust me. Okay. You will get lost in that fucking game. That shit is fucking fire. Now, what I did do is a lot of like a lot of times they would you would meet this person and say, "Hey, you want to take this bounty?" And I'm like, "Nah, I'm focusing on the mission." So there's still a lot of that shit I can go back and do. But had I known I was going to complete it this quick, I might have just stopped and done yeah. some of that shit along the way. Nah, yeah. Oh, so is it is it like a quest, John? Like you get to pick quest and not nah, like you have a main thing. Uh huh. I guess you play Metal Gear. So it's kind of, I like games that are kind of similar. Which like Metal that. Gear? Because if you're talking about Phantom Pain, that shit's a whole different Metal Gear. Yeah, that's the one I played. The newest one? Yeah, the last one. The last one, one that yeah. they made? Yeah. That shit, yeah. And I only got, started playing okay. that because they didn't make Splinter. They didn't make any new Splinter Cells. And Splinter Cell was my shit. I'm st- I am want to cry about that, bro. Splinter Cell was one of the best games ever. And then when they created the uh, the co-op, John, and you can have a whole, play the whole game co-op, bro, yeah. that shit was fire. And then I tried to do the thing where they said, oh, they made these games backward compatible. It's not the same. When you've no, used to because when you do backwards compatibility, one, it's not going to be the same controls how your uh, the new system is. You're going to basically play, like, sometimes with backwards compatibility, when you... Log into the game, it's going to say Xbox 360. It's going to go yes, back to the original. It changes it. Yeah. So the graphics ain't no better. It looks yep. like shit. I didn't even enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I downloaded that and I, and I bought that and I bought um, 
Siphon Filter, which you probably don't Ooh, remember. Oh, yeah, I remember. remember? Okay. Yeah, nigga. That I'm was a gamer, shit that was gamer. DC, yeah. yeah, that shit was, was fire. Like, I was like, this shit was the shit. And I uploaded him like, fuck, I look like I'm playing this on like Game Boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> on a big screen. If you want to try a, 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 like a story-based shooter that's kind of decent, i say either Ghost Recon, uh, Wildlands, or Breakpoint. Breakpoint's okay. the newest one. Wildlands is the one before that. Or... uh. The Division. They're both Tom Clancy games. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I'll yeah. Sure. Or The Division 1 or 2. Like, them shits is fire. Okay. Like, they're story-based. They have the ones you, you basically can do whatever quest you want. And, yeah, that shit's... Okay. It's worth the time. Yeah. Big facts. Like, Sorry, y'all. This is giving this nigga a little game knowledge. I paid $65 to pre-order that shit if I knew it was going to finish it in a week, though. I would have waited till it went on Game Pass. Yeah. Now, that's the bad thing about certain games. You don't know if you're gonna finish the entire story EP fast. It takes me like Phantom Pain took me forever because I was only playing like a couple times here, a couple times there. And it's so much you could do in the world's biggest shit. Yeah. Quiet that makes it different. Shit. Huh? Quiet was who I took with me all the time. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And you ever look up the actress that they modeled Quiet after? Nah. She looked just like the, the video game. No shit. She stacked just like that. That's but a lot of these video games, the characters that play them are real people. They just yeah. design their, they design it after whoever wears the suit. Cal Kestis is uh, Ian from Shameless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they actually did the commercial promos with him and um, the actor who played Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill, got gotcha, you. Yeah, because gotcha, he gotcha. was like saying, "Wait, you get two uh, lightsabers." Uh, and then yeah. there's this one part where Mark Hamill's playing a game. And he's like, "You got to use the Force here," and he looks at him. He's like, "I think I know how to use the Force." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny as shit. Nah, yeah, that's facts though. You're speaking of computer shit. I saw this shit on um, Facebook, Instagram, one of them. But these people, Instagram, are, yeah, people are using it's all the same company, right? Yeah, using AI, and they'll call you pretending like they kidnapped your daughter, and then when you ask to speak to your your child, not necessarily your daughter. The AI replicates that person's voice, and then they're trying to get money out of you. Yo, that's that shit, bro. That's the problem with everybody looking for this fucking AI. Like I heard somebody say this before. He was like, like he's basically that. He said, "Yo, this AI could change my voice and mimic what I say." And turn it into anything that they want. They could admit to a murder that I didn't do. They could admit to any fucking thing and put me under the bus. Just because y'all was searching for this AI, like we don't fucking need this thing. Like, Mm-mm. I understand y'all really want to create an alter alternate intelligence that's gonna help us in a way and make sure the human race lives longer, blah blah blah. But they're gonna realize the human race doesn't need to live longer, and they're just gonna wipe us the fuck out. Like, no, we have plenty of fucking <laughs> Wait, movies. That too many, too Matrix, many fucking movies. Um, uh, Terminator. Terminator. Um, I robot. Like, um, <laughs> I y'all just go keep go going. Like, and the crazy part is, like, the Terminator, I robot. The guys who wrote those stories, where those stories were adapted from, they wrote them just like in the 30s and 40s, before the technology was even a possibility. Like, this is what would happen. And then the guy who I wrote his name down because I knew I was gonna forget, um, Jeffrey Hinton. He's considered the godfather of AI. He worked at Google for the last 10 years. And you see this shit. Nah. So he done made all his money developing AI, got all his AI there, and he says, now nah, AI is dangerous, and he quit Google so that he could tell people that AI was dangerous. You was a fuck nigga, man. <laughs> what? Like, he's the black dude from Terminator 2. Yeah. Greatest guy in it. You built this shit and then going to tell him it's wrong. You should have known while you was building it that it was wrong and then been like, destroy this motherfucker, we done with it. Like, don't... Fuck that. No. But you know what I equated to? Because I always try and see both sides of the story. Nah, fuck that, nigga. You a nah, fuck, nigga. But you ever tried to, you ever knew you shouldn't have fucked with this particular girl? Uh huh. But you still fucked with her anyway? And I was a fuck, nigga. Like, fuck and, you mean? Yeah, like, but I mean, <laughs> I try and understand where people, maybe it was like that. Yeah. Uh, I was a, it was a, you a fuck, nigga. Now, okay. one of the things that in the article I was reading, they were saying, like, so far, if you ask, like, we were asking, AI questions uh, last week. That's just looking up Google the same way we would. Do it you was, know? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know is she, she's logged into your accounts? Yeah. And bro, this is the way I see it. A, I'm not hiding anything. B, I'm carrying around something that's logged into my account. All right, she gonna bring up your porn catalog one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing I'm ashamed of. One day, <laughs> normal shit. 
Um, no, but like when everybody says, oh, would you let them put a chip in you? I don't need to. I carry a chip around with me all the time that knows where I fucking yeah, am. And like that chip, to me. that chip is unnecessary. Your phone fucking is a chip. But y'all can't live without your phones. One of the things they talked about is like the chat GPT, and I haven't even checked it out. I've just read about it, and like it's giving wrong information. So one of the immediate dangers is wrong information, not so much the whole taking over the world thing. Mm-hmm. But um, you ever had, did you have to read Fahrenheit 451 in school? Mm-mm. So it was this book about the future. Nigga, what grade did you read that in? I don't know. It was grade school, maybe high school. Grade I don't know. school? That's elementary school, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. Nigga. It was. It might have been high school. When you was elementary school. I was still in some, my dad's nutsack. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, but they don't change shit in the education system very often. Because I bet <laughs> nah, you, that's facts. That is facts. I, uh, you probably didn't read Catcher in the Rye, and maybe you didn't even read Animal Farm. No. Animal Farm was about communism, actually. I probably did if I read the book again. I probably Animal did. Farm. I was like, oh, this seems like a great idea <laughs> to mm-hmm. you. When you're naive and don't know any better. Ah, this seems like it may work. Communism. Everybody's here is equal. Yeah, no. Um, and Catcher in the Rye. Interesting story. The guy who allegedly shot John Lennon had a copy of Catcher in the Rye in his hands. Mm. And if you check it out in the library too often, it puts you on a watch list. There's like a list of books that if you check out in the library too often, yeah. it'll put you on the FBI watch list. What the fuck? Bro, why are you being put on the FBI watch list for checking the book out too many times? Well, like one of the books is uh, Mein Kampf, which is Hitler's book. I would want somebody to take a look at somebody who keeps reading that shit over and over again. I wouldn't read none of these motherfuckers' books. Like, nigga, if you did some <laughs> shit like that, fuck your story. Like, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I, okay, yeah. Check them niggas out as soon as they read that shit. Like, nigga, <laughs> um, I get if you if you just heard about the book and you was like, huh, let me see what it's about because somebody said something about it. But if you know what that shit's about and you deliberately be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to read it again. This, yeah. this is a three-time read. I mean, like, I knew that from years and years and years and years ago. I don't know if that's still the case, but... Oh, so Fahrenheit 451. So in the future, to control information... Firefighters weren't there to put out fires. They were there to burn books. Mm. So, like, if you had a copy of certain books, you weren't allowed to ha- have, they would burn it because they wanted to control the information that people got. They redid a, ver- a modern version of it um, with, uh, what's his name? Creed III. Uh, Killmonger. Michael B. Jordan? Oh, Michael B. No. Jordan. You said Killmonger. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan's not Killmonger? Yeah, he was. He was. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, <laughs> Fuck what's his name You're thinking of Chadwick Boseman Yeah Black Panther Yeah I was My dumb ass And it was really good but No I wasn't the, thinking about him either But one of the things I observed in it Is that They had a device Very similar to the um, Amazon Echo uh. That kind of knew everything It was into everything And then even when you go Further back Like watching the original Robocop And you saw the kind of TV that the people Watched in it Now this movie came out In the 80s And you're like why the fuck would anybody watch TV like that? They were doing it. And you see stuff with people going live, and you're like, yeah, right. That seems like a distant future you'll never see. And here we are seeing people go live. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've unfortunately seen people go live and kill people online. Yeah. Unfortunately. So it's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. That shit. That shit's wild. All you niggas is stupid. I'm just going to say that. Y'all doing anything on live, you fucking stupid. Like, I've seen a nigga. I don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know if he was trying to commit suicide or what. He kept going to every hood and niggas just started shooting at him every time. Like, niggas just like... Wait, what? Niggas just like, I guess he was like very wanted by all the niggas in the hood. And he was driving to different neighborhoods and like hopping out and talking shit. And they would shoot at him. He'd hop in the car, pull off and go to the next neighborhood. All while recording it live? All while recording it live. He was like, yeah, damn, I got hit a couple times, but I'm on my way to such and such. I'm on my way to such and such. What y'all about? Like, the fuck? Like, that shit, this shit, a lot of shit's getting out of hand. And, like, my biggest problem is these companies don't have enough pull to stop some shit when it's something that shouldn't be seen going on. Like, if I go right live right, like somebody go live right now and kill somebody, that's going to be live and somebody's going to have it screen recorded before anybody notices that this motherfucker just did some shit. Right. That's my biggest problem with that shit. Yeah, but how could you really police that though? 
That's the problem. They created something you can't police. Unless you have a delay, like when like when TV shows when they would go live, they would start they had it, like a, make you. Uh, they had a delay. It's basically a record in a way, so it's delaying the. Well, yeah, the feed would be like so. Let's say we started feed, at eight oh one, but they didn't start feeding it live till like eight oh four or eight oh three. So that way they could censor it to not get the FCC fines. That's how they would be able to like you know censor and bleep shit out. Right. But they must have something in there like that. They would need to. Because the live is a little delayed. Yeah. Um, one of the companies I worked at, and we would do lives for our clients. And as you're watching the feed on Facebook and you're sitting in the room watching it happen live, it is a little delayed. So that's got to be the only way you can control that. Yeah. But then you, so then it comes back to our conversation. Do you have a human being watching it? Or do you have AI looking for certain things to make a determination before it sends it to an, a human for review? Because mm. when you look That's at the a state good question, of the world, because nigga, that AI might just be like, "Oh, this is a threat. Mm, kill that nigga. <laughs> like, 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 blow his phone up." Like, yeah. <laughs> but you look at the state of the world, right? And you people don't stay employed longer, right? There's no employee loyalty, and I get why some people are like that. I'm not going to tolerate just my employer treat me like shit, and I get that. And so people don't stay at places longer. So then you start having to find the first thing any company cuts when they're trying to save money. The first thing is labor. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think during the pandemic, when they saw how they were able to get some companies were able to scrape by with a little labor, they've adopted that as a labor model. But then the customers pre customers are still expecting pre pandemic service, but they've cut this labor to the labor sizes that we had during the pandemic and you can't provide it. So people who don't think and look at the big picture are really upset because they don't feel like they're getting the best service, but that's why. So then what do you do? You start replacing it with AI. I mean, for not, in all intents and purposes, the self checkout is an AI. Yeah, it definitely is an AI. And then you could argue people was like, "Oh, I want fifteen dollars an hour to bag groceries." Well, I can buy this software and not have to pay liability insurance and uh, uh, workers' comp insurance and um, unemployment insurance. And that's a fact. And that's why every time I go to self checkout, I'm gonna steal something. <laughs> you ain't got nobody watching that. Fuck you talking. See, about. I do the reverse. Most times, unless I'm in a rush, if there's a nah, I don't steal nothing. But niggas do steal shit. I if watch there's them. a person checking out, I will go to the person instead of the self checkout mm-hmm. because that person probably needs that job. And the more I use the self checkout, the less likely that person will have a job. Mm-hmm. Although I don't know how well I, I would love to know what Walmart's it's, shrink is. From Walmart the is fucking stupid because one, they have self checkout, and then they will have one fucking register open at the other end. Like y'all, y'all just like all right. Everybody gonna go to self checkout, or we are gonna have this long ass line over here. Like, what the fuck is the point of that? But I would love to see what their shrink is from self checkout. Oh, this it's a lot. When the I've the, worked in Walmart, the Acme that used to that. be next to the old when I worked in the Dover store. Mm-hmm. The Acme used to have self checkout, and they 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 were losing so much shrink. They killed that shit. They pulled them out and put two regular fucking checkout lanes there. Yep. Yo, y'all, they don't understand this. Like, there's going to be a lot of shrink. Like, y'all wonder why y'all numbers not getting higher each year. That's because um, niggas are stealing each year. Like, <laughs> niggas, um, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> See, I'm yeah, too I seen a nigga make caught. the sound with his mouth one time. Stop. <laughs> I'm too afraid <laughs> of getting <laughs> caught for some dumb shit. Nah, yeah. Get caught for some What they going to do? I mean, I guess fuck they going to do the same thing we don't do for everybody else that comes in our store and shop list. Yeah, I square up with one of them niggas. Fuck that. Don't nobody well, want to be LP is, no more. They can't. They can't. Yeah, y'all do can't nothing. do nothing. Y'all just gotta let fired. me go. Yep, y'all gonna get fired. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard of. You gonna get fired if you try to help the store not lose anything. I get the possibility of somebody getting get hurt. hurt and all yeah. of that shit. I get that. But you if it's not a situation me? like that, you gonna fire me? And all I was like, all right, if I see I could possibly get hurt, I'm going to back the fuck off. Yeah. And I'm trying to protect your ass. Yeah, I'm trying to protect your shit. Like, no, I work here. You're not going to steal from here while I'm here. Like, yeah. no. Like, that's that's bad. Like, like what the fuck? Crazy world. <laughs> like, that shit makes no sense. Like, no, I'm sitting here trying to make sure you don't lose more money because I already seen how our inventory went and you need to make sure, <laughs> we need to make sure we keep everything that we got on hand. <laughs> well, fuck it. They be bullshitting. Like, no. So I, I can see where it's useful in certain aspects, right? Like AI. 
Like, think of something that you don't want to do. That if you could automate it. Something I don't want to do. I give you a stupid example. I hate dusting. I love vacuuming. It's, it's therapeutic for me. I don't know why I enjoy vacuuming. You like the sound? But I hate, no, I hate the sound of loud, loud fans and motors. But Fucking I, dog? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you know what's interesting? Steve Jobs didn't like the sound of fans either. That's why he worked so hard to make Mac so quiet. But anyway. Mm. So I if, see, I, if I could have a robot just dust. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't completely blame you. You had that fucking robot off the Jetsons running around here, nigga. <laughs> but I didn't know this. You know that robot, that, that Roomba, that shit that, that, that people put in their houses? Uh-huh. It draws a map of your house that it uploads to a server so that it knows how to navigate your house. When some, um, there's this guy at work nigga. that I always talk to that is into electronics. So you telling me if I work for Roomba, I can have the entire layout of your crib and know how to get in. Now, I'm sure they'll tell you that it's a private server that nobody has access to but their fucking Roomba. Uh, but it could but be creeks working at Roomba. When you see the fucking maps, that, because this dude showed me the app on his phone. Come this, on, now. that, that shit, shit draws a pretty fucking. It's a map accurate, on my on my phone now. Yeah, it draw as it learns your house to know where to vacuum. It draws a floor plan of your home. This nigga gonna upset me. I'm not. <laughs> no, we not doing that. No, you just fuck Roomba up for me. I was thinking, oh, that's 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 dope. Like, right? even, even no, that one that mops the floor. Yeah, for you and shit. I was thinking, oh, just just have it on a timer. Just do what it do, and you just go about your life. That's one thing you ain't gotta worry about. Fuck that! I will be doing it manually the rest of my life. That's what's scary to me. Like, and I get that it has to map your house to know where to go. I get that, but well, does it have to upload the shit somewhere? That shit should be like a bumper car. Like, it <laughs> just go hit the wall. All right, bang. But I bet it has to learn right, it to bang. be more efficient because yeah. otherwise it would burn the battery out and never really finish. Yeah. So I understand that why. motherfucker back itself up on the on the charger too, don't it? Yeah. Just think of some shit go down. You got like, look at me. I got lights on one fucking shit. Some people have their locks and uh, temperature control and shit. That mm-hmm. shit can be like, fuck you. It's about to be 137 degrees in here. Yeah. Mm. But I get the convenience. You I get bacon in your sleep, nigga. I get why we, um, and it's funny, even you go back to Planet of the Apes, the original one, and they did not want no, fuck tech, no fucking technology. And I, and I understand why. Because technology ruins society. Now the question is, will we see it? Will our grandkids see it? Will our great grandkids see it? Mm-hmm. Somebody gonna see this shit. Can you imagine we we live through slavery I hope just the to downfall. be a slave of a fucking robot? Yeah, that's just wild. I hope the downfall of fucking when all the AI and shit start attacking us, I hope it's after me and my kids done passed away. No disrespect to their grandkids and yeah. none of that, but I'm not really worried about them. It's, it's the ones I can, can you handle. Imagine yourself <laughs> trying to fight like the Matrix. Let me ask you a serious question. Nigga. If you was in the Matrix, you had the choice to live in the real world like it was, or you could just take that other pill and you could just be like a fucking king in the Matrix, would you choose to be plugged in and, and live the fantasy life or would you want to struggle in the real life and eat slop and wear rags for clothes like Kanye shit. As as long as my wife can go in that life with me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you, I'm sorry. Whichever I, one you choose. Yeah, like whichever one I choose. Like for real, for real, I would do the Matrix, but I need to be able to bring her ass with me. But it but, was great. They could make you an electronic version of your wife. It's crazy when the dude said, I want to go see, back. I don't and, know I if that thing going to be the same, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know if... That squish gonna be the same. It's like it's like no, I'm sorry. So we only doing one episode tonight. <laughs> nah, we doing two, bro. We doing two. This, I this go is home. this is this is pregame. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm good though. We good. So let me ask you this question. Yeah, kind of the same topic. So. You know how people would be like, oh, I don't fuck with that electronic shit, or I don't fuck with that phone shit. Now, to a degree, if you could do your job better, right, mm-hmm. and you can make more money because you can do your job better because you understand computers, you would do it, right? hmm If they said, we want to put this chip in your head, it'll help you access nope. information nope. faster. Nope. How's it nope. different? Nope. 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 <laughs> they get it. Somebody, has act- somebody has control of an item that is in my head. I don't have full control of that. 
They have okay. control of that. But whoever designed this, whoever designed, I'm obsolete, motherfucker. Consider me not having no hands or some shit. Like, no, that's <laughs> that's wild. I'm not. No, mm, I'm I used cool. to say exactly what you would say. Mm-mm. But then I thought back to bro. You not putting no chip in here's my Here's how I thought about it. You got you got. I got the chip here. I don't need to continue to hold the fucking chip. When, when they started computerizing the hospitals, my grandmother was a nurse. And when they started computerizing like the med delivery system and the, the re- medical record shit, a lot of her coworkers like, fuck it, I'm out. And they retired, right? Early, some of them early. She chose to get a computer and learn how to use a computer. And the more I think about that, like if you, if you say, fuck it, I'm out, don't you choose to make yourself obsolete? Because you can't compete in that same market. Like, for example, we'll go way back. Well, then I'm just going to rob niggas in that market. <laughs> Fuck it. Like, <laughs> like the Icebox <laughs> Man. Before the ref- I'm going to be running them rebels, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be one of them rebels living in the ragged ass towns, fucking before free running and <laughs> stealing shit and exposing the motherfuckers with the chips. Like, He's like I've been practicing for this shit. Why do <laughs> you think I play duty so much? <laughs> like, I've been playing them games, nigga. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm a, I'm a rebel. I mm, I'm not with the shits. But bro. like you think of the, the man who delivered the big chunk of ice to keep your your groceries cold before electric refrigerators, right? Mm. When everybody now had an electric refrigerator, that dude had a choice. I learned to work on these refrigerators, or I just retire mm. because nobody's getting ice delivered anymore. The fuck am I supposed to do? But motherfuckers still need ice, though. To Not if in, everybody got electric refrigerator. They put in their freezer. Let me ask you a question. Well, I don't know if you ever had one. Have you ever owned a cassette player? A cassette player? Or CDs were always the, the medium of music for you? Thing, yeah. I've seen a cassette player. Okay. I never really had one. You had CDs, though? Yeah, I had CDs. How many CDs game. do you currently have? Currently? hmm Video games? No. <laughs> <laughs> music I got CDs. like 20 of those, but... Music CDs, nah. I don't because what did you do? You migrated with the technology. You stream your shit, right? Yeah. It's more convenient. It's yeah. easier. You uh, you migrate. Now let's say you chose not to. Uh-huh. Let's say I chose not to buy CDs. Right? I'm having every nigga album I fuck with. Vinyl doesn't sound as good as a CD or an MP3. I don't care what anybody tells you. Vinyl's mm-hmm. warm. Tape is warm. Tape mm-hmm. is a little hiss. Let's say I chose that I was only buying music that was on vinyl. A lot of people don't bother with it. Mm-hmm. Can't get it on vinyl. Mm-hmm. So what do I stop listening to music? Now you learn to create your own vinyl. It's like now, nah, like, like, little challenge. It's not a thing about a show on, nigga. I mean, I could run it through some plugins to make it artificially sound like it was vinyl, but it's, it's still not going to be the same. It's not. That's no sounds. People like never believe me, and I, I mean, a lot of people don't even hear the difference. But I'll play like something on a CD. Mm. Or then stream sure, and, and they play the same thing on the fucking record. They're like, oh shit. Or they're like, mm, I don't hear the difference. <laughs> yeah, nah. You got that ear. When you got that ear, it's different from for other people. Cause you know me, some of that shit, I'll be like, I don't really hear the yeah. difference that much. But when it's obvious, like you definitely can hear that shit. Like I used to spend hours like tweaking the EQ settings in my car when I would put systems in my car back in the day. Oh shit. And I tell my wife, come outside, you gotta hear what I did. She's like, I don't know. It sounds like music. <laughs> Been outside for three hours. It's cold out here. It's raining. Yo, and then you did all that, nigga. That's because you wanted to, motherfucker. <laughs> like, like, you wanted to and do you don't that hear shit the difference in the cold, at all? raining. Yeah. You don't hear it? Damn. I probably got to tweak something. Motherfucker probably. I'm just saying I don't know if I would completely write it off. If you asked me 10, 15 years ago if I would ever let them put a chip in my head, I'd be like, absolutely not. Well, now shit, today, around know. 15 years ago, you was damn near my age, nigga. So, <laughs> so, so, so I understand. So, give me, give me till I'm 40. Let's see, let's <laughs> see if, you let's change see your if mind. I change my mind. Yeah, I, you might be quite the opposite. Nope, I just quit. I resigned. <laughs> I resigned. I saved up. You got, for this you got retired. my pension. Am I cool? All right, I'm out. Yeah. Y'all don't need where I worry about yeah. it. Let that machine do it. Nah, I probably. It depends. I just don't like being dependent. But I might learn how to use a machine so I can know how to destroy it mm. when everything goes wrong. Yeah, you can't move your stack. Shit going to another- go wrong. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to sound like I'm being a Debbie Downer. Shit's going to go wrong at some point. And we just got to be prepared for it. Those of y'all who know how to work on that shit, y'all need to be prepared to be recruited because your ass is going to be the first one in there. Like, like- I'm going to ask you this last question and we'll wrap this one up. Have you ever thought about your apocalypse team? My apocalypse team? Yeah. 
No. I constantly... I never thought about it, but I always think of what I would do. Like, I know one, I'm, I'm looting somewhere. Right. And taking my family out of the town. And I feel like that's the number one worst place to be is in town when right. some shit go ha- when some shit well, Let me ask you this question. Do you know how to hunt? Do I know how to hunt? No, but my grandfather and my father hunted. So I'm it may be right. in my so blood, you might need hopefully. Some, maybe. I got accuracy though. Huh? I got accuracy. Oh, accuracy. Well, I haven't shot a I ain't I ain't shoot a real gun, but with BBs and uh paintball guns, I was like nasty. Like, okay. I never missed. Like <laughs> So I think about this constantly, like if some apocalyptic shit and this might be another reason. Oh, we gotta do that fucking bingo shit. I was thinking about it, that shit would actually be fun. Bingo for the listeners that every time I oh, say yeah. some mental disorder, they yeah. like, I got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Episode 62, uh, minute five. Facts. But anyway, so I think, where would I immediately, if some apocalyptic shit happen right now, we already know you're going to get your family first. Mm-hmm. That's your first thing. But then what do you do next? Once I Who get- do you seek out? Like, I have a list of people, and I won't even say it publicly, and I don't, I'm not a, like, doomsday prep or anything. But I just I have my ideas, and I know people that I'm going to try and connect. With. That's that's pretty much my thing. That's my village. That's everybody I'm going to first. But what if your village don't have a skill set that for you to survive? That's not. That's another hand. That's no. Like you get your family, right? Yeah. You got your wife and your children. Now what? Mm-hmm. All right, you could build some shit. Yeah, we're good there, right? So you qualify to be on my team because you could build some shit. And, you know, you'll be the person to lead love into the next generation because you'll have everybody in in healthy relationships to repopulate the earth, right? Uh I think that's beneficial. But then we might need somebody who's a war strategist. Yeah, we would need somebody who's a war strategist. Right? And then what about... But it... It all depends. A scientist. Because you can fuck around get that war strategist and he fuck around and turn all your people against you and now you got a big fucking issue. That's why you That's, gotta start vetting people now, man, before it happens. You, say you gotta start vetting I them kid now. You not, I know at least three places and three people I'm going to try and find as part of my apocalyptic team. And mm-hmm. I've talked to at least two of them about it because I've thought about this. God damn, you thought about it more than I have. I you never watched Doomsday that. Preppers? Nah. These motherfuckers seem like cycles, but they're going to be ready. Nah, yeah. I feel like that's a big thing. Like, a lot of us ain't going to be ready for certain shit that pop and, off. And they, it was somebody who kept posting, it was a bunch of people posting pictures of uh, sightings of a UFO in Ellendale, Maryland, which is the bottom of Delaware, like right before it switches to like Virginia and Maryland or whatever down mm-hmm. there. That's really close. Mm. Yeah, it's close. But then like, if it's fucking extraterrestrial shit, like, the fuck are we going to do? Like, we're not going to, like, what What are we going to do? Survive. you never seen V? Survive. No, you wouldn't have seen V. Like. No, i seen, what's it? Uh, green, green something. It was a bunch of big ass aliens. What was, was the it, was shit that green was Hill? TNT? With the dude who used to be a doctor on ER. That show was really good. The, the who, House? The Bull no, no. House? Oh. No, no, it was the younger guy, Noah Wiley. Shit, nigga. It was on TNT. What the fuck was it called? I was really into that shit. But he was the leader of them, and he was a history teacher. Mm. See? That's what I'm saying. You don't ever know who has the guts to actually be right. the lead. But he had, like, a military guy, and I think one of the military people did turn on him. What the fuck see? was the name of that show? That's, I can't see? The military people. They know they can get the power because mm-hmm. they, they have the brute force. Like, yeah, but that's why the military is never completely in charge. There's another level-headed person mm-hmm. that makes decisions. Mm-hmm. Like every show I ever seen that had the nigga who was head of the military, that nigga was like war. Like every <laughs> that's his answer. War. That's his answer to everything. War. They're they're they're, they're bringing war to us. We got to take it to him. Like no, like nigga. Some people want to have a conversation before you just go killing people. Fighting people, yeah. Nigga, okay. y'all just out here trying to commit murders and shit. Because I could probably point a gun and shoot an animal. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to cook no deer. Shit, I don't know how to take the fucking. Shit, you know, I can, I can imagine cooking a deer is like cooking some beef. But could you cut it off the the, the yeah. body? Yeah, with no could. problem. Yeah, I feel like I could. Yeah, I need your address. <laughs> <laughs> like, like no, well, I wouldn't like know fully how to do it from the jump, but I wouldn't have no problem doing it. <laughs> That's a. I can see you now. I sound like a, I'm a serial killer. Babe, no, we gotta go, babe. 
Jeremiah, get the Laurie seasoning salt out there. <laughs> <laughs> chef up this this deer. <laughs> That ass, yo, survival comes, bro. You gotta do what you can. Then. Grab the adobo, <laughs> nigga. If I ain't see it during a while, I'm shooting that rabbit, motherfucker. Rabbits are for kids, it's like now. <laughs> <laughs> Tricks are for kids. My fault. I said the wrong shit. <laughs> oh shit! Fucking like rabbit nuggets. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> nigga, we gonna be eating. Fuck that. And yo, it, it was it was a show called Revolution or some shit, and that was when all electricity went out everywhere. And they That's basically, what I'm saying. yeah, they basically had to do some shit like that. I'm like, yo, I'm, I feel like me and my wife were like, in a way, we're prepared for that shit because one, she loves gardening and plants and all that shit, so I know she's gonna be quick to bring a garden and vegetables and all that shit, and I like. Shooting shit and oh, <laughs> and building yeah, shit. I definitely so, need to get to your house. So we would definitely like we would even if we didn't know exactly how from the jump, we're gonna learn that shit. I no can't problem. fucking keep a snake plant alive in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't supposed to be easy. Um, shit. That is fact though. You got you gotta learn your niche. Like we wanna we wanna at one point live like out in country bumblefuck somewhere, just our crib with a bunch of woods by it and live our life that way. Like I would love that as long as I could get to civilization. No, yeah, in it wouldn't. Yeah, no, nah, no, we're not gonna be that fucking far. But I don't want nobody living next to us type of deal. Yeah, but I want us to be able to have our own little farm. Like we really want a farm. Like oh, I'll shit. be chopping chickens up and all that shit. Like I, because you know the fucking they put so much shit in our fucking food. Like that's true. We want to do that shit ourselves. Learn to do that shit ourselves, so we ain't gotta depend on them, and we know we eating some healthy shit. Like. Yeah, you were like, yeah, we y'all definitely yeah, on the list. Yeah, you know? I made it to my yeah. apocalyptic team. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and they got. I got two more heads. <laughs> I definitely want to learn a skill like that because what am I going to do? Fucking play the guitar by the fire to keep everybody peaceful. That's, that's, that's my be your job. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be your job. You gonna have to play the music. I'm gonna be the entertainment so, hey, coordinator. Hey, hey, Ramon, play that one you was playing the other day while I cook up this deer. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna start a podcast sitting on two rocks in a loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, our podcast is gonna be the only thing on that radio. Cause you know, in all the movies, it just be one little bullshit ass radio yep. station network. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still be trying to mix people's shit. Come on, I know you got a hot 16. Uh uh. You're gonna have a hot 16 bullets for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust them niggas, nah. Like the ops gonna become real, real. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I think I'm gonna come. I'm gonna get a record deal, nigga. nigga it's just the apocalypse. Sh- <laughs> How you gonna get a record deal? No apocalypse, nigga. <laughs> nigga <laughs> just tried to steal my rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't know that I'm not trying to have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. They said nigga try to steal my rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I like where that's going, but can you make that 808 hit harder? <laughs> hitting that rock nigga, with the hammer. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> he hit the hood and a little beat up ass truck. Darian, if you could get a bigger deer tomorrow because I need to stretch this skin to make a bigger oh, kick drum. Oh my God. Oh, and with that said, what's your final thought, sir? Oh, be ready for the apocalypse, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Ah, you gotta have your guitar player. <laughs> I better get on the ball because I only oh, play two songs shit. right now. <laughs> it's all you slacking, bro. We need at least ten songs. Everybody gonna be in the. This shit's gonna be on cycle, nigga. <laughs> in the rafters, play that same shit again. <laughs> I dare you. So play number seven, motherfucker. <laughs> Say what again, motherfucker? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh yeah, but uh be prepared be prepared for anything without sacrificing your sanity. Cause being prepared for too much will fuck your head up sometimes. Yeah, why are you pointing at me? But I didn't know. I was <laughs> cause you the only nigga head. <laughs> when we pointing the war? Oh, point at y'all. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, just love yourself and do the best you can. I forget my other two that fast. That's, That's all right. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold it together, bro. I'm be thinking about that shit all. Grab my Pumas. You know I'm still gonna have sneakers in every point in the woods. <laughs> Who moved my Pumas from by this tree? Oh shit! That, that by the shit tree. <laughs>
That's the first thing I'm figuring out how to invent. How am I turn these leaves and the fluffy soft soft toilet paper? I'm gonna try a hollow a tree and just take a shit <laughs> <laughs> in the in the tree. And we gotta find a motherfucker that know how to make natural soaps. Cause oh, we can't yeah. have the village stinking. Nah, niggas gonna be musty as shit. Y'all gonna be, we gonna be rinsing off and creeps and shit. <laughs> Catching fish at the same time. Is that fish? Is it your time of month? <laughs> oh shit. Oh my fucking god. That oh my final thought. Um, I hope y'all watch this whole fucking episode. Yes. Oh. You motherfuckers that be clicking off in 12 minutes, y'all know what you're missing. Yo, the end, bro. Because we just start cooking. That's what y'all... <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why, this, that's why the second shit be so lit. Facts. Oh, cook the it's first shit. Be real. But anyway, my final thought is something you would say is like, love your people. Not every day is promised. Take advantage of the time and take the opportunity to be with your loved ones. That's it for me. Facts. Make sure you follow us on everything at Warm the Crib across Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. On TikTok, we are Warm the Crib Podcast. And get that merch. WTCmerch.com. Right there. <laughs> I ain't doing all that animation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and listen and watch and watch and listen. Ah, we tricked you. We did it backwards this week. But there were some gems in here. Um, watch out for AI. Get your apocalypse team. Until next week, we'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Peace.